Welcome to Brain Stuff, a production of iHeartRadio. Hey, Brain Stuff, Lauren Vogelbaum here. The taxonomic family of weasels is a motley crew. They can be slinky and shy like a pine marten, or grouchy and taciturn like a badger. Ferrets and otters are playful and curious, and then there are honey badgers, which are basically just berserker weasels. But perhaps the most fascinating weasel is the wolverine. The scientific name for a wolverine is Gullo Gullo, which is literally Latin for glutton glutton. Not sure whether the team at Marvel knew that when they were designing X-Men's broody anti-hero. But these animals seem legitimately super heroic, not only in what and how much they manage to eat, but how they generally ace life in the northern forests and alpine tundra they call home. About the size of a mid-sized dog, but resembling a small bear, a wolverine is a weasel of paradox. Weighing in at between 22 and 40 pounds, that's about 10 to 18 kilos, the males being larger than the females, they defend territories greater than those presided over by grizzly bears, from 40 miles up to 370 miles, that's between 65 and 600 kilometers. And they do it aggressively. They've been known to fight a wolf or even a bear off of a kill. That said, Wolverines are omnivores, eating pretty much whatever their sensitive noses lead them to. Ground squirrels, moose, mountain goats, carcasses buried meters under the ice and snow, birds' eggs, berries, etc. They'll even dig deep under the snow to kill and eat a hibernating animal. Unlike a lot of other Arctic animals that deal with the long, bitter winters by either hibernating or migrating someplace balmier, a wolverine's dense frost-resisted coat, which at one time made them a major target for fur trappers, its snowshoe-like paws, and the ability to chomp through frozen meat and even bones, make it possible for them to stay outside in the far north year-round. They're also pretty hyperactive no matter what time of year it is, One wolverine wearing a tracking device in Grand Tenton National Park was found to have walked over 500 miles, that's over 800 kilometers, in two months. We spoke with Rebecca Waters, executive director of the Wolverine Foundation based in Bozeman, Montana. She said, they can go and go and go no matter what the terrain is like. They have crazy metabolisms and they don't hibernate, so they're always out exploring. They've also been known to climb hills and slide down on the snow repeatedly just for fun. (laughs) 